Imagine that you are building an HR assistant for your company and it confidently gives incorrect leave data. Let's say you have 60 leaves in a year. That sounds very unreal, right? In this video we are going to learn not just about this problem but also how it can be solved and measured. Now first of all, what is grounding? Grounding is shifting from improvising to answering with evidence from a limited set of evidences. It uses real document context pieces to limit hallucinations. One way to achieve this is through RACs, which is Retrieval Augmented Generation. So continuing from the example that we were discussing, right? If we had an HR guidelines PDF, we would break it into chunks and convert those chunks into vector embeddings to make them searchable. The beauty of these embeddings is that semantically similar chunks are close to each other in cosine space. Now Langchain retrieves the most relevant chunks and passes them along with the question as the context to the LLM and that helps it to generate the answer. This transforms the guessing problem to a searching and retrieval problem. You can also measure how grounded an output is using tools like Ragas. It evaluates faithfulness, context precision, context recall and many such metrics. Let's look at few. Faithfulness measures how accurately the answer reflects the provided context. A score of 100% means that the answer is entirely based on the context, while 0% means it isn't. This metric relies on LLMs, so it can be slower in practice. Another important metric is context precision. It evaluates retrieval performance. It tells you what percentage of retrieved context is actually relevant to the answer. For example, if you query about leaves, the context shouldn't contain information about the joining processes, right? Or the leaves on the tree, right? Similarly, there's context recall as well, which measures what percentage of relevant context was retrieved. You can read more about these metrics in Raga's documentation. So if next time, if anyone asks how to ground an LLM to a specific document and not let it hallucinate, you know how to do that. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from Crazy News.